This week on Local 4 News, we have been telling you the story of DJ Carton's journey through mental health. The former Bettendorf High School basketball standout started suffering from depression while in school there. He went to Ohio State after graduating, but DJ struggled there and eventually left school. He took a six-month break from basketball. Now he's back to playing again at Marquette University. Local 4's Corey Rolden shows you how coaches and players fully embraced him and respect how he fought the battle within. DJ Carton has found his love for basketball again. A big reason for that is the relationship he's built with his coach and school. New coach Wojo in high school. Um, he had been recruiting me early. He went one of the Marquette was one of the first teams to recruit me, and um, I just kind of knew I knew the type of person he was, and I knew um, you know I knew what their program was about and their values and stuff like that. And um, so you know I, I made the I made the move, and you know. I wouldn't regret it for anything. I've had a really good time, made a lot of good relationships here, and you know, I've gotten back on my feet mentally and um, with the basketball side of it, and uh, I couldn't thank these guys enough for you know helping me get there. When Carton was at Ohio State, fans on social media were harsh, which made him question his game. But now at Marquette, he feels like he's back. I truly believe that he took a lot of those comments and internalized them and started to feel that those were true. You know, that he, I remember him saying, I'm not the DJ that I used to be in basketball anymore. I don't have that bounce anymore. I don't have that skill anymore. Um, and that, he said that for a long, I, I think just more recently, he's Even kind that. of like, okay, I'm getting it kind of back again. DJ isn't just in a better place on the court, but off as well. And we got to go out to have lunch with him and go shop for dinner and we just laughed and it was for hours, time. it was yeah. like a two and a half hour dinner, and uh, before it would be, yeah, he'd see us, and but then you know, quick lunch, and then all right, get me back to the hotel. And before now, it's he wants to hang with us. We were laughing and just had a great time. DJ wants other people to learn from his story. I feel like how how much stronger I am mentally, and how much more in control I am of you know my mood, and you know how I feel on a day to day basis. So. Um, you know, right now I'm just in a really good spot and I'm hoping that, you know, my journey um, can help others, you know, get to this spot as well. I know now that I'm more open to it, I have people come up to me and ask me questions about things they're going through. And that makes me happy because it makes me feel like they can trust me and it makes uh, and it hopefully makes them feel like they're not alone because I've been there in that position. And, you know, um, hopefully I can, you know, help you get out of that position or give you tools and stuff to get to help you get it out yourself. This season, DJ Carton is averaging almost 13 points on 45% shooting, which is making him think about the NBA. He's talking about a future in basketball again where that was not um, an option. I mean, that wasn't even a consideration he when he left Ohio State. DJ Carton has been through it all, but what's most important to him is family. And he was looking up to see where we were at, and I just pointed at his wrist, and or at his because he has that bet, you know, bet, bet on, on me. me. And it was more just I just pointed that so that he would have confidence. And he immediately went on his wrist, and on his wrist he has a tattoo that says family. Family over everything. Compared to last year, DJ Carton is in a good place, but his story isn't finished, and only DJ can tell it. From Davenport, I'm Corey Rolden, Local Four Sports. Corey, thank you. DJ's mother says the best advice that she would give any parent is just listen and be understanding.